Hello everyone. Welcome back to programming with C++. Today I will look at input and output in C++. What does it mean um, to output? Output means to display to the outside world that is users that are probably using your software. In C++, the C operation is output to the outside world. Uh, the syntax for the C out function is as follows. So you have the keyword C out followed by two less than signs. Let me get it up. So we have this the C out followed by two less than signs. Then if it's a variable, you have the variable name, it's a string that you want to output, you have it inside this double quotation. Followed by your semi. Okay, so inputs also means to receive data from the outside world. I mean, C++, the function that we use um, for a certain input from a user is the same. So um, the syntax for doing this is um, the same keyword. Um, followed by two greater than signs. Showing that it's going to the right side, it's going inside. Then the name of um, the location, or let's say in the declared variable that you want the information to be stored here. Okay, so followed by semi. All right, so let's go to our ID and let's practice something. Okay, then we'll get rid of uh, this. So we are in uh, the C last mess. So Let's create uh, IDs the C++ app. If you don't know about this, I've made videos of this in earlier sessions about how you install and configure it and then use it as your ID for C++ program. So file, done to new, then create the source file here. Okay, so uh, let's, to begin with, let's call our header file. Same say if you would. So, maybe you would add your string. Let's call our library using name space. That's TD. And our main function. Then, let's get the bracket. Then, I'll write it then. It's here. Alright. Okay, so. Um, let's first look at the uh, output in C++. We say that in C++, the function C out is useful. So we say C out, then followed by two less than size. Then if it's a string, then it wants you have to get the test inside it. So let's say hello. Hello, or let's say hello. Then we end it with semicolon. So let's compile and run and see what happens okay so let's save this so gain pounds okay i'm saying that okay so you have hello world here yeah. so this is for c out so let's this is for just seeing out any string that um, you don't have any predefined um, variable location so let's declare variable of type integer so int let's say int k equals let's assign the value say by so we can name say c out let me clear let me get rid of this say so c out Okay, so this time around, because the variable has already been declared, we just have to call it. It doesn't have to be in a double quotation. So we just say C out K. Let's go and do this. So you have five, so you have there. Okay, so let's try something else here. Okay, so let me declare two variables of type string. So string name refers. And you know. so 
So let me help this here. So string name because that there will say C out. Let's see some of the quick one here. C out. Let me C out to me. C out to me. Let's see what happens. The word seems to say C out name. And what happens is that it's going to give us this name. It's not going to give us the variable name because this is a string that uh, we are we are not calling the variable name so if you want to call the variable name have to get rid of the double quotation marks so we say here name compile and run and then it gives us daniel as the value again so let's let's also add something here okay so um, let's declare another variable of type integer name age let's say equals 85 so uh, what we intend to do here is we intend to see out um, Daniel and then the age along with a string so how do we do that we say see out then because we intend to see out a string to this you see um, see out Let's call the variable first name. So the name is going to give us the value here. Then say so if it's say if it call it straight. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I will do this. Less. But here, let it right put it a lot of concatenation from us. So let's look at it right. So, one that and scroll like it. Integer, right here. So then we end this. So let's go back. Right, let's see what happens. We see Daniel is 25, but we have Daniel and 25. So, what do we do? We just paste this out here. Get Daniel is 25. So here we have different variable types coming together. So in order to see out different variable types, yeah, in one line, um, you would bring you call the variable name. So we call the name, the variable here, name. Then we introduced a new string which we haven't predefined or we haven't given any variable location to it yet. And then we bring the two less than size then followed by age so the name that is uh, the variable name we have the age which has a value of 25 so i will see how the right where we compile it we're getting this okay so um, let's try another trick here so let's see yes see this this tbs so we want to output something after refreshed message right see yes he is let's see what happens so we'll do this so this is yes he is i want this on a new line because you have done a new line so how do we do that come here we use the end line function so See then way. Yeah. Then this so before you use the name patch you still have to bring the two less than size. Then let's compile it run and let's see what happens. So Daniel on the stage right? Yes, he is. Okay. So that is for output in C plus plus. And this video will go to input in C plus plus. Thank you.